welcome again to another Pixelmator tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate to you, I'm going to show you how to add gradients and, um, and make gradients and some of the things that you can do with gradients. It's a really short tutorial but at the back end of the video I'll show you to make a really cool gradient just to, um, just to, just to top it off. I'm just going to move my gradient palette over here so I can also zoom in on that. So I can zoom in on two things at once when the um, tutorial's finished. And for this tutorial you'll need, you'll need your tools toolbar and your gradients to toolbar. To show the tools toolbar if you haven't already got it on your screen, press command 1 to hide or show the, com the um, tools toolbar. Likewise you can go to view and hide tools or command 1 show tools. Now for the gradients it's command 5 I do believe, yes, that's correct. Command 5, or likewise, you can go view, show gradients, hide gradients. Okay, so let yeah, we'll use this gradient. So, in our gradients color palette here, if you've got a gradient selected, you then have to go to your tools toolbar and select that gradient, select the gradient tool in order to use it. Now, dependent on what you've got here on your color swatch of the gradient, linear, radial, or angle, will depend how that gradient turns out. Okay, so you can use it in many different ways. As shown there. Now, if I wanted to edit this gradient, all I would simply do is go to my swatch at the bottom here, click somewhere in the space, and I would add color stops. Now, I'm just gonna add two sort of radical color stops just so it's easily identifiable. So this is quite easily identifiable. Now you will notice that that tool, that gradient that I've just created is actually here in my tools toolbar, but it's not in my gradient. So my original gradient has remained as it was. Now in order to add this gradient to my gradients color swatch or gradients toolbar, I need to right click, sorry, left click on my tools at the bottom and click add gradient and it will add that gradient to the bottom. So that's one way to add gradients. Now to remove it, so I'm gonna right click, remove gradient and you will notice that gradient has gone from here in my tools and here in my gradients um, palette as well. So another way to create a gradient is, um, and I'm gonna show you to create a cool gradient here is to, let me just go to this black gradient here, it's just a black gradient, now if I was to have that selected here, and then I get, went to my tools and clicked add gradient, it would duplicate or replicate this black gradient next to it. Likewise if I did it with this blue one, and I clicked add gradient, you notice it's added the blue one. So with this black one selected here, now it could be any colour, if you want to remove a colour stop, let me just add a colour stop, so I've just clicked in, it, in there, if you want to remove a colour stop, you just drag it onto the um, onto the blank area in your um, in your workspace. Okay. So what I've got is these two colour stops, one here, one here. Now what I'm going to do is from the left, I'm going to add one, I'm going to add two, and I'm going to add one in the middle, and then to the right of that, I'm going to add one, and I'm going to add two. So in total, I've got seven colour stops. I've count them: one, two, three, four five, six, seven, cool. Now we're gonna work from the left again. I'll leave the left one, right, and I've selected it, so you click it. And if you notice, my colors will change because I'm gonna change the color of it. I'm just gonna select white in my color palette. This one is gonna stay black. This one is gonna stay white, so I'm gonna make it white. This one is gonna stay black. This one is gonna go white. This one is gonna stay black. And this end one, select it, is gonna go white. So now we've got this really cool sort of um, black, white, black, white type of gradient. I'm just moving them so they're sort of even across the screen. Okay, now great art in it. And then I am going to click angle. So my gradient type, I'm gonna select angle. Now you will notice that it's here in my gradients tool. So I select it in my gradients tool and I just click once in the center of the screen. Now I can rotate it if I wanted. I can rotate it if I wanted to and then click again, um, just in my screen, to make that gradient solid. Now remember, if I want to save this gradient, I have to go add to gradient, okay? And then with this other black one, I can remove gradient. So that's like a, a really cool pressed metal 
type gradient that you can use. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions or any problems, please come back to me and um, I'll catch you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.